Good morning, church. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with you a devotion entitled Commanded to Love. Commanded to Love. Part 1. John 13, verse 34. John 13, verse 34. It said this way A new command I give you love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. You know, love, the word love, is almost certainly the most misunderstood word in the world. We dilute its meaning by overuse. For example, I love my wife. I love my country. I love pizza. I love steak. I love football. Giving and receiving love are difficult when we don't totally comprehend what love means. So we need to clear up a couple of misconceptions, right? Misconception we need to clear up from our mind when we talk about love. First, we think love is a feeling, a sentimental knot in your stomach. True love does create feelings, but it is more than a feeling. It is something you know within and you're going to do something about it. Number two, misconception is that love is uncontrollable. Love is uncontrollable. Have you ever said, I fell in love as if you had stumbled and fall? We say, I can't help it if I'm in love or the opposite, I can't help it I just don't love him or her anymore. These are two misconceptions we need to take note of. The fact that Jesus commands us to love one another means that we do have control over whom we love and whom we do not love. Love at its core is two things. First of all, number one, Love is a matter of choice, whether we can decide or make a decision to love or not to love. It's a matter of choice. Colossians 3.14 says, Over all these virtues, put on love. It says, put on love. It's a decision which binds them all together in perfect unity. Notice two small words, put on. Like you choose the clothes you wear each day, you choose the attitude you will display. So, love is controllable. You can decide to love or not to love. You can decide to like the person or not like the person. Or love this person or love the person. Secondly, love is a matter of behavior. Love is a matter of behavior. 1 John 3, 18 says, Let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. It works like this. When you reach out towards someone, or one more time, if you reach out towards someone with genuine love and concern, your feelings towards the person change from negative to positive, from reservation to generosity. And even if they don't return your love, God is pleased with you. That's reward enough. One more time. Sometimes when you choose to love, reach out to love your enemy and, and forgive those who hurt you, you know what? Even if that person don't respond to your love, God is pleased with you because you know you chose to do what is right. You choose to love. And that is God's reward to you. He will bless you. He will help you. He will strengthen you. And He will guide you. So the first lesson today, devotion today is commanded to love. Commanded to love. Amen. Amen. Father, we pray that you help us, bless each of us, strengthen us as we learn to love people as you commanded us to love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you and you have a great day.